Californian startup Tier One Engineering is making progress with plans to market an electric powered version of the Robinson R44 helicopter. Since mid 2022, it's been conducting test flights with an aircraft for which it intends to replace the original piston engine with the Magni X350 electric propulsion system. The company recently gave representatives of the Vertical Flight Society the chance to witness one of the demonstration flights in what Tier 1 calls the ER-44. The launch customer for the ER-44 is a company called United Therapeutics, which is going to use electric helicopters to deliver organs for transplant surgery. And that's a very time-sensitive process. Its CEO, Martin Rothblatt, is one of two pilots who flew the recent test mission that included what the company described as the first direct electric helicopter flight between two airports. It was like a completely stable platform. We were able to monitor changes in torque, of course, uh, temperature, uh, battery state of charge. Um, everything was able to be monitored from the cockpit. It went as predicted from our numerous ground tests and, uh, and earlier short flight tests. We also monitored our altitude, airspeed that we intended to fly this profile from. It was an FAA approved flight profile that we flew. And having previously test flown the flight in a gas powered R44, I would say this uh, E44 flew just as well, if not better, much quieter, and with a very good feeling in your heart that while you're flying this uh, E44, you are effectively taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere because you're not putting any more in. The reason we've done this is we want to prove that it is completely practical now, today, on this, you know, October 29th, 2022, to deliver transplantable organs between hospitals in different cities or between an airport and a hospital in different cities by electric helicopters. And now we are well on our way to creating an unlimited supply of transplantable organs and delivering them with a zero carbon footprint using electric rotorcraft. And our mantra is that it is possible to both save the lives of our patients and save the atmosphere of our planet at the same time. I was already an accomplished helicopter and fixed wing pilot, and I knew very well how many pounds of gasoline aviation um, burns. Um, it's the only way to fly from one place to another. But I saw that there was an exponentiating increase in the power of batteries and in renewable energy technology, such as solar panels and wind generators. And it occurred to me as a pilot that it would be possible soon to have enough power in a battery pack, an electric motor, to equal the amount of power output from the turbine engine in my Bell 429 helicopter. The ER-44 is expected to be able to fly for up to around an hour at speeds of 90 miles per hour. Now that means it will have significantly shorter range than the original aircraft, which can fly up to around 345 miles. But crucially, it will be a lot quieter and also generate no carbon emissions. Carrying a spare set of batteries, operators will be able to make extended trips after a 15 minute turnaround on the ground. The recent demonstration flight lasted 21 minutes from Jacqueline Cochrane Regional Airport near Coachella to Palm Springs. In the configuration for United Therapeutics, there will be no rear seats, but there will be a, a, a cargo space for the organs. We anticipate a 20% reduction in operating cost of the aircraft. It does have a lower noise signature of 15 to 20% less noise. It's very smooth in flight, so there may be some performance improvements in the fatigue life and the life limits of some of the components of this particular model. We think it's a great training aircraft. It could be useful for short tours or, or charter flights in areas where there's limited fuels. One area that's of interest to us is Catalina Island. They don't have any fueling of avgas or any sort of jet fuels. And uh, we think for operation in islands and, and places where fuel is an environmental problem, electric flight would be great. Tier 1 is working to get FAA clearance to convert the R44 helicopters under a supplemental type certificate. It's aiming to breathe new life into an aircraft that's been in service for some time. 
Our intent is to do the modification at the first overhaul at 2200 hours. And that is a fairly expensive overhaul as it stands, requiring several hundred thousand of parts and labor. And we feel that would be an opportune time to implement the kit. One of the technical challenges with electric flight is dealing with the thermal heat rejection from the system. On this version, we have five separate cooling systems. That sounds like a lot. The battery requires cooling during flight and during charge. The motor has two cooling systems. It has air cooling of the rotor and it has fluid cooling with ethylene glycol of the stator. The motor controllers or the inverters have cooling as well with ethylene glycol. There is a reduction gearbox from the motor to the the belt drive system, and that also requires cooling. And although electric propulsion is much more efficient than a piston engine, it still requires very careful development of cooling systems. Now one area where battery development has progressed is in reducing the internal resistance of the cells, and that makes a considerable difference uh, when it comes to the amount of heat you're managing during flight. So on our next generation pack, we're able to remove the need for cooling because the internal resistance of the cells that we're using is, has dropped uh, significantly. So we no longer need in-flight cooling. Uh, we still need cooling on the ground for charging. So when the aircraft lands, the pack is hot and we need to cool that pack down before we can put energy back in to recharge it. Well, Tier 1's work with the Robinson 44 helicopter is just one of many stories that we at Future Flight are telling about exciting work to electrify aviation. So please keep coming back to futureflight.aero for many, many more stories like this. 